So today I'm making this roast beef. It's got a pepper and thyme crust on it. So this is the joint of beef that I've got. It's um, an Aberdeen Angus topside joint of beef and it's 1.6 kilos. And originally it should have been 19 pounds and 26 pence, which is a lot of money for a joint of beef, but the Aberdeen Angus beef is amazing. And I actually got it reduced to five pounds um, because it was going out of date. It was just after Christmas and there was loads of joints of, of beef that were left over, you know, loads of turkeys as well, and a lot of the meat was reduced. So I got this um, for five pounds and I put it straight into the freezer. So I've let it defrost now and this is the joint that I'm gonna to cook today. I'm making a crust to go onto the beef and it's one tablespoon of pink peppercorns, one tablespoon of black peppercorns, and then I'm just going to crush them together into the pestle and mortar. So you definitely don't want any full peppercorns in there, but you don't want it to be too powdery either. It's quite a coarse mix that you need. I'm also adding fresh thyme and you just want to take these leaves off the stems and you just pull your finger firmly down the branch to pull the leaves off. So just like that and then you've got the leaves and you need about a tablespoon of those as well. I'm going to stud the beef with garlic. So to do that you just have to make an incision with a, a long knife about halfway into the meat and then take your clove of garlic and stick it into the hole. I'm just going to widen it up a little bit. And then close that back over. So the garlic is inside the beef and the garlic flavour is going to spread from the inside through the beef. And I've got three cloves of garlic so I'm going to do um, another one going in at a different angle. Before I put the meat in the oven I'm just going to sprinkle it with the, the rub. You just sprinkle it on and rub it into the fat. It's kind of messy but you just pat it all over the beef and then I've got my trusty oven dish and I've just cut um, two red onions into quarters. I'm going to pop the beef on top of that and put it into the oven now. So the beef recipe I'm doing it's actually an adaptation of this one from the Woman and Home magazine. I'm not sure if this is a recent magazine or not, it's one I've just pulled out of my recipe box. But it gives the timings here for how long to cook your beef. So if you just want to pause the video and you can check it out. It's just a quick equation. You can work it out by the weight of your beef, how long you need to have it in the oven for. And here's the beef out of the oven. The juices that come out of the beef make a really nice gravy. So we're going to save this dish and deglaze those afterwards. Now you need to leave the beef to rest. So I'm just going to put it onto a wire baking tray above this dish though so we can still catch any more juices that come out to put into the gravy. And if you saw my vlog at the weekend you would have seen that uh, I made this for Trevor's sandwiches but it would be an awesome joint for, t it would feed a whole family, it's huge. This so Trevor's just taking the string off the beef and then he's going to carve it up. <laughs> 